I don't think Anthem was a horrible game when it came out. I actually liked the story that was presented. It wasn't the best, it was okay. But I quickly realized, as many other people did, after the game came out, there was nothing to do. So, like many of you, I uninstalled it and I moved on. For whatever reason though, EA largely forgot about this game. And as we've seen, as months went by after the development, the development itself was very flawed. A lot of people didn't actually know what they were doing until the big E3 announcement when they actually announced the name of the game as Anthem. Even the players, or, or the staff rather, had no idea what the game was. They're like, oh, is that what we're working on? So it was doomed from the start, which really lends itself to the fact that it made a lot of mistakes that games as a service make um, that really shouldn't have been made. So. It didn't have any engrossing mechanics in terms of crafting materials or any type of dungeons that increased in difficulty uh, like Diablo does with the Rift system. There was really no leaderboard, so there was really no incentive to do any sort of timing. The PVP element was really non-existent. There was just a lot of really staple items that were not there with the base game that never came. And it's shocking to me that this is such an epiphany for anybody working at BioWare, but here we are. And BioWare has now announced that, hey, we're not giving up on Anthem. We were gonna do a bunch of small content updates. Clearly we dropped the ball on that because we haven't talked to you guys about our game in a very long time. Uh, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna fix the problems. We're gonna right the wrongs. We're going to basically release Anthem 2.0, which is a complete overhaul to the game and a complete overhaul to everything you know about Anthem. The question really is, can they pull it off? And we know what they need to do. I just named it. We need more world events. We need a crafting system. We need a fun exploration system that rewards players for going around and finding different parts of the map. We need engrossing PVP. We, know we need engrossing end game content in the terms of raids and dungeons that have modifiers on them that allow you to play them over and over with different increased rewards based on how much you're willing to punish yourself. This isn't anything new. The Division has been doing this. Destiny has been doing this. Every games as a service that has really come out in the last five years has figured this out. But the question is, can Bioware pull it off? Can they bring people back to their game? And what was so engrossing about Anthem was that exciting sense of exploration where you could fly around with your javelin. There was tons to see and tons to do in this engrossing world. At least that's the product that they sold to us via the intense marketing campaign. We click, quickly realized that wasn't meant to be. I don't think they can pull it off. I think the games as a service space is bloated and I think the games as a service space is dying. I think Destiny 2 is one of the last few games that people rally to. I think The Division 2 is really lost a lot of its luster. I mean, hell, it's for sale right now on the Xbox Live Store for $2. $2? I mean, is that not indicative of it's going for free to play? I don't know what is. You have a lot of games that really try to embrace what the original Destiny was. Many failed to pull it off. And as the market spaces got more cramped with more and more games adding on to that type and that genre, less and less people are interested in it, more people are going towards other things. You have to remember a person who is really into a shooter is probably really enjoying their time right now with Fortnite, which has constantly continued to be in a, a phenomenal state because it's constantly adding new content, new ways to play, new skins, new ideas, constantly, to the point that they're releasing trailers for the new Star Wars movie on there, and that players are constantly finding ways to come back and watch the world change. And these become these giant events that people are really excited for. You don't see that in any other games as a service. That's their competition. Then you look at a game like Modern Warfare, which is announcing season two, which launches tomorrow, bringing back classic maps, bringing back additional guns, bringing back another battle pass. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's gonna be hard to pull people away from that. So if you are a player looking for something to do that is a shooter, you have some viable options that exist today. How about Rainbow Six announcing yet another expansion with more operators, with more maps? The list goes on and on. It just doesn't leave a lot of room for a game that came out 
that was really a commercial failure on many, many levels that suddenly is like, hey, you know what? After a year of doing nothing, we want to win you back. There's a lot of people like me who bought Origin Premier Access for their PC and has since lapsed their subscription who doesn't even have access to the game anymore. And how many people bought it and sold it because it wasn't a great experience? That is where they are really going to have a hard time is building back any kind of player base. There will always be people playing games. I was just playing a crappy port of a very popular board game, Ticket to Ride, last night with my friends. There were 72 people online playing. One of the worst ports of any computer, uh, of any board game to a computer game I've ever played. And there was a vibrant enough community that you can get a match almost instantly across the world. So there are people who are still playing Anthem. There are people who are really excited to come back into the universe. And there are people like me who just don't care anymore. And those are the people, people like me, are the people that Anthem really, really need to appeal to. I don't think they can do it. I don't think there's going to be enough there. I think it's going to be better than it was. I think anything can be better than it was. But I don't think it's going to be enough that's going to draw everybody back in. And to me, I say, you know what? Let it go. Let it die. Move on to other projects. Move on to other experiences. And maybe this is the swan song for Bioware. Maybe EA is going to chew them up and spit them out like they've done with a zillion other companies. But you know what? I don't have anyone to blame in this situation. I'm sure the folks at Bioware have played other games as a service and they understand the things that make them work and they understand the things that make them fail. One of the nice things about being late to the party is you have a lot of things to draw off of. You can look at the successes and the failures of a game like Diablo. You can look at the successes and the failures of a game like The Division and you could say, well, these guys already paved the way for us. They already showed us what works. They already showed us what doesn't work. This is the tempo in which we need to release additional content. This is the way we need to progress. And this is the message that we need to manage to our community going forward. They didn't do any of that. They had all the cards laid out in front of them. They knew everything they needed to do and they failed horribly. Was it an issue with Bioware? Was it an issue with EA? A combination of both. There's a lot of speculation, there's a lot of reporting, good reporting by Jason Schreier, talking a little bit about some of the development. But the reality is, unless you worked on that team, unless you have a badge into that building, you just don't know how it panned out. What we do know is the game that we have now sucks, and a lot of people have abandoned it. I have abandoned it. A lot of people don't have access to it anymore. I don't have access to it anymore. So what is Anthem going to do to make me say, oh my God, I need to get back into this? I don't think it's enough. I don't think anything they do is enough. And with that, I'm closing out this video. Good luck, Anthem. I think you're going to need it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.